channel. So today I'm going to do a new moon spread for every sign. I'm going to try to run straight through so long as my computer lets me. Sometimes it gets a little slow with longer readings. Um, I did want to tell you guys really quick, this reading in particular is a new moon reading because tonight is the new moon in Pisces. I wanted to let you guys know that I have created a new moon course for anyone who understands how powerful a moon can be, whether it's the new moon or the full moon, and you want to utilize that power and you have good intentions and some goals that you'd like to reach, I have created a ritual that I've been using for upwards of two and a half years now. The times that I've done my new moon ritual versus the times that I haven't, it has been a black and white difference, meaning like the struggles I had probably wouldn't have happened had I sat down at the beginning of that new moon and really had focused intent with where I wanted to um, reach things. So with that being said, I'm going to put the link down there and also attach a video here so that you guys can click over to my Mindset Mastery channel and see a little bit more about that because I talk about the full moon. Actually, I may not have a video on there about the full moon. It might be on this channel. I'll have to see what channel it's on. But I do know I cover Mercury retrograde and a couple of other things. So um, yeah, let's get the reading started. I'm just going to grab this really quick. And we're gonna start with Libra. Um, really quickly, I, I always forget, but if you guys enjoy these readings, please like and subscribe um, it does help the channel grow and the messages get out there so i appreciate it let's get it started i ask my guides my galactic guardians my angels my archangels my ascended masters and my ancestors please help me to set my ego aside so that i can give the collective the new moon messages that are in their best interest thank you thank you thank you i usually say highest good but for whatever reason i said best interest not sure if that means anything today, but, but all right so we're gonna do this first and the first card is what energy is rising to the surface with this new moon what energy is rising to the surface for a Libra with this new moon what energy is rising to the surface this energy for the new moon these have a lot of energy coming up it may all come out at once too Mm. You may have an Aquarius bringing new love to you or getting love from an Aquarius. There's new love coming into a situation. Or if there was an issue, I don't know, I'm just, it's a new moon in Aquarius, but I am hearing Aquarius for you in regards to a situation. Maybe you and an Aquarius are coming to a head and things are you're going to get along now. Um, what is What is the main message from the new moon? A win-win outcome is a forecast, which is a full moon in Libra, so maybe by the full moon. And it's time to take action, which is a new moon in Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, um, the Libra is probably you and your energy, and then possibly an Aries. So it could be a situation about an Aquarius or a situation about an Aries, vice versa. However, apply it however it uh, works. But there are two new moon cards in here, and the signs Aquarius and Aries. So, um, let's see what to expect from the new moon. What to expect from the new moon. Um, coming into your own worthiness and understanding that you're, you're good enough, like, as you are. Um, emotions could be running super high. Um, so know that because your emotions are running high there's a possibility for like a fiery like like fighting with somebody or like you know uh talking that could be a little like uh i want to say like more volatile because it's in aries and aries is you know rules uh you know god of war so and it's also what to expect from the new moon is your hard work that you are giving is paying off and also this is a new moon in capricorn so you could also be dealing with a capricorn or have capricorn in your chart i know i have a lot of capricorn on my chart which helps me 
drive my career stuff. All right, so now I'm going to pull an oracle card from the Enchanted Map, which is uh, by Call It Baron Reed. I really like her cards. They're beautiful art, and the messages always really resonate. So I think you guys will enjoy them too, because as Libras, we're, we enjoy aesthetically pleasing things. <laughs> What message do you have for Libra for this new moon, please? Ooh, crazy. Okay. Uh, do you want me to read both of them? Okay. So you got talisman. And I, was that? Talisman was upside down. Okay, so you got one ring circus, which like kind of to me says that like that's just has all of your hard work <clears throat> coming to the, the forefront. Because you see how it's like on a cliff, on an elephant, like sitting there alone, like you're just doing a lot of work on your own. <clears throat> and then Talisman is, uh, she's stepping on a yin yang sign and she's holding a talisman out, but it was, uh, and there's like a dragon around her, it looks like, it's like a spirit of the dragon coming through. So um, let me read these messages really quickly. That will be your reading later. Well, I wrote, I opened right up to it. So your uh, affirmation is you are capable and competent. Independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resources that you need. Recognize that all the vis wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent and capable of moving forward with assurance. Your self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time. When you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you are, excuse me, and a healthy sense of where you end and others begin, you're able to enter into the best kind of relationships and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness. Interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. <clears throat> All right, and then you got the talisman. So really like all of your hard work, especially if you do something like a new moon ritual or something like that. Um, I feel like a lot of Libras probably already do just because a lot of us are really connected. You know, we're already up there in the ether. It's hard to get us to come down to earth, right? Um, a lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for the success you seek. So you may have had to lose a few things to get to this point, and a lot of times the things that we, we give up, right, is just so that we can make room for that new energy that needs to come in. So a reverse talisman card warns that you must be aware of the repetitive patterns in your life. Sometimes the things that feel most familiar carry with them reminders of what you don't want to experience again. Yet here you are faced with an important choice. You can move forward cautiously or you can look for another path that will take you in the new direction. Consider this. If you've fallen down a hole a few times, why wouldn't you walk around it this time? If you know where the hole lies, treasure that wisdom. Although the universe is unlimited, every individual path has limitations. Accepting that not all avenues are available to you at this time is a powerful realization. That said, you don't have to retrace your footsteps any further no matter what you're on this path to gain greater wisdom it actually says retrace your footsteps either but it sounds like it may have been a path that you've taken a couple times and it hasn't worked out for you libra no matter what you're on this path to gain greater wisdom regardless of the choice you make this is the time to ask others who have been here before for advice and assistance their wisdom will awaken your own <clears throat> all right yeah, so it sounds like you've given up some things to get where you are. I'm just going to pull a couple of the tour or cards. Message to you for Libra, please. That which is like unto itself is drawn. So um, I got this message earlier, and I think it was for Libra, so I'm just going to repeat it if you didn't hear that reading. But it is possible to live in the past worried about experiencing it again and create that same energy because you're so focused on not wanting that energy. I always say that the universe is like a three-year-old, you know, a three-year-old doesn't know 
that mom doesn't want the dog to eat her shoes just knows that mom gets really animated so it's kind of fun to watch the universe is the same way in regards to the vibration you put out it doesn't know that you don't want it it just knows that you keep putting that vibration out so it's going to keep giving that vibration to you that which is like into itself is strong all right libra all right next we have scorpio hi scorpio All right, so let me just write down the time here for Scorpio. And I'm gonna try to do these signs straight through all 12, but like I said, my computer's been really weird. I'm very slow when I do the readings, so I can't tell if it's it's filming like that, and I don't like the readings to, to be slow and, and cash, so. Anyway, I digress. Let us begin, Scorpio. What is rising? To, what energy is rising to the surface for Scorpio right now, please? What energy is rising to the surface for Scorpio with this new moon? This is a new moon spread. Ooh, a fiery climax approaches. Are you dealing with the Libra? Um, that's a full moon in Aries. Aries energy uh, is ruled by the god of war. Like Aries is ruled by the god of war, so they're really good at uh, confrontation. If you don't like confrontation, I don't know a lot of Scorpios that do. They tend to avoid it. Uh, like they'll handle it if they need to, but they don't like it. Um, I would just say to uh, be wary of your temper. This new moon, uh, the energy is going to be really heightened in regards to that. All right, what is the main message from the new moon for Scorpio, please? Luck is on your side. Um, and nothing will come of the situation. So there's something that, like, it's just not going to go anywhere. It's, like, stagnant. But it's all right because luck is on your side. So you may have a Sagittarius that comes in this new moon because it's a new moon in Sagittarius. Uh, that nothing will come of the situation is void, of course, moon. So, like, there's something that's being voided out of your life. All right, what to expect the, from the new moon, please? You're very close to achieving your goal. Adjustments are required, and it's time to take action towards that. And whatever it is that your your goal you're working towards, that's your goal. It's requiring absolute authenticity from you, Scorpio. Uh, the, it needs you to show the world who you actually are and not be afraid of maybe upsetting the status quo is what I'm hearing. All right, let's do a enchanted map oracle cards for Scorpio, please. message for Scorpio. I just got really confused. You guys might be dealing with the Gemini. I don't know. All right. You got the spark card, which is 34. You are a clear channel for divine creativity. Ooh, I love that affirmation. So I would literally like get a pen and write out. I am a clear channel for divine creativity. That's a fucking bomb affirmation. I love it. All right. It's reversed though. like a fairy playing a violin oh there we go cute outfit and i like her hair all right uh i've been really called to work with the fairies completely random maybe you are being called to work with or, or um allow the energy the fey in which is childlike have some fun go do some shit you would have done as a kid waste some time don't do work like do something that a kid would do when they're supposed to be doing their own work <laughs> yeah okay anyway Sometimes your fire gets doused by others who don't want you to be all that you can be. In that case, you need to move away from the water, lest things get too damp. The spark card in reverse position may also indicate that you're allowing yourself to be so consumed by a thought, feeling, or situation 
that you're in danger of becoming completely burned out. Compulsion and impulsiveness must be tempered now. Rest by a warm fire, let things die down a bit. Then you'll see if the true spark will still be there. If not, you can always light another fire at another time. Yeah, like I said, Scorpio, you're pushing some things and causing you to burn out. <clears throat> and <coughs> the only way to get out of that is literally childlike fun. Again, go do something that you would have done as a teenager instead of doing your homework or going to work. Do that. That's your inner child screaming for you to have some fun with it. Okay. So my Clarity Couture Oracle deck will be available to purchase very soon. Oh, this is odd. Okay. The message is right up for Scorpio, please. Yeah, you really need to let go of everything you're holding on to because it's all coming out at once. All thoughts and feelings of love are direct energetic transmissions of love. Divine timing is at play. Hold your vibration. And contrast is enlightenment, okay? So that you're seeing them, some things you don't like. Um, they want you to stay in the energetic uh, transmission of love. Like that is your default mode because divine timing is, is literally like it's kind of like the universe will say, okay, what do you want? And then you'll go, okay, this is what I want. And the universe will go, okay, I'm going to give you something that is absolutely not what you want at all and see if you settle for it or if you'll stop and have faith that what I, what you want and I'm going to give you next. And when you, so you stop and have faith, no matter how many of those little you have to wait for, the longer you let go of waiting and you just have faith that it's coming, that it's already here, that's when it comes in. All right? All right, Scorpio, I hope that this helped you. <clears throat> I love you guys. My mom's a Scorpio. One of my roommates is a Scorpio. I love you guys. Okay, next we have Gemini. All right. What's up, Gemini? Woo! You guys have things falling. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. That scared me. I don't know if you saw me like jump, but. <laughs> okay, just like I um, said at the beginning of the video, which I, I always just click the, the timestamp. Um, since it's a new moon, I'm doing a new moon reading. But if any of you have wanted to take advantage of the new moon energy and would like a really special ritual that you can do every new moon with instructions and worksheets. I think it's like 12 pages of worksheets. Um, you need at least an hour and a half of time to yourself to do it, but it really lets you hone in on what you want from the month and what you want to uh, manifest. So that link is going to be down there. And at the beginning of the video, I shared my manifesting uh, YouTube. <laughs> okay. So What's rising to the surface for you this new moon is that a personal issue reaches a, sol a resolution for you, Gemini, and you may be dealing with a cancer, or I'm hearing feeling a little cut off, like I'm seeing like the, the cancer. <laughs> okay. Um, what's the main message from the new moon to Gemini, please? You need to have faith in your dreams, Gemini. You have to take time to breathe, like take time out to breathe. <clears throat> and then they're asking, what do you need to release? Like you're being given a period of time where not much is happening. And instead of trying to find things to do, they want you to just live in that moment and be really honest with yourself. What is it that you can let go of and release during this time that no longer serves you? Um, all right. What can Gemini expect from the new moon, please? Ooh, a new romantic cycle. You might be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, because that's the new moon in Libra. Or, like I said, a Cancer. But, um, yeah, it's new moon in Libra for a new romantic cycle. So maybe you're dealing with a Libra and you have a new romantic cycle with them. That's really cool. Give me another one. <laughs> Give me another one. It's nice out right now. It's cold, but it's nice. Work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. Could be a Libra Scorpio cusp. I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp. Am I going to meet a Gemini? Gemini boys are fun. Okay. Um, we're going to do the Enchanted Map Oracle card for you, Gem. Let's see what we have. Let's 
the new moon message for Gemini. Ah, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Reshuffle. <laughs> Okay, I'm having a really good time right now. I don't know why y'all are trying to get something out. Something, trying to do something and it just keeps going wrong. I bought this shirt from Doll's Kill. Shout out to Doll's Kill. I love that store. But uh, yeah, it's like if I lift anything, my little girls will pop out. So we're not going to do that. All right, you got a commitment card upside down and the giraffe encouragement card upright. But, I mean, this could be mommy and kid kind of thing. It looks more like mom and kid. But, um, let's get into it, gems. A true commitment is a responsibility of the heart, mind, body, and soul. This is a good time to make one. You may be walking into a commitment or contract you will later regret. This isn't a good time to sign agreements or make any choice that would t tie you up for a long period. If you're in a relationship, you may not receive the commitment you desire, but don't despair for something better awaits you. Now is also the time for agreements to be broken. Remember that rejection is God's protection. What hurts you now leads to wisdom later, okay? <clears throat> so maybe um, you're going back to somebody you've already dated, Gemini, which been there. I'd much rather spend money on shoes. <laughs> or my hair. You like my hair? Gee, thanks. Just bought it. <laughs> Gemini's good at it. Okay, you were receiving a nudge in the right direction. This card tells you that you're being gently encouraged to step into your new power, into your into the dream of your life. New things are out there to be explored, and the nurturing power of the universe is giving you a nudge in the right direction. You will get the help you need and won't be alone in your quest. Every step you take right now is supported by the wisdom of the universe. You are on the right path. Keep going. Okay? Gems. Keep going. And it's 22 minutes and 22 seconds. I'm going to stop the reading here and just upload it in threes because my computer is being weird. And it's taking it a long time to like be on the same level. And that's making me a little nervous. So... I'm going to say thank you so much for being here. If you like this reading, please take a, a second to maybe leave a comment if it resonated. If it didn't, let me know what you hated. I'm down. Whatever. Um, let me know um, what your favorite part of this, the readings are. If there's anything you'd like to change, uh, just, you know, reach out. I'd love to chat with you guys. I appreciate those of you who have subscribed recently and liked the videos and taken the time to watch me talk. <laughs> It's not really me. It's you. Higher self. Guides. You know how it is. All right. I love you guys. Namaste.